hi everyone welcome to a new video this video is all about smart sheet contract management here we will see how we can manage contracts on smart sheet and how we can gather all of the contracts that are going on into one sheet and overall the purpose of contract management so to do that first we have to go to the browser and then we have to start for smart sheet or you can find the link of Smartsheet in the description below. Once you click onto the link, you will get onto the website of Smartsheet. There you have to make sure that you already have created your account. So this time I have already opened a sheet in which you can see I have some of the content available. So these contacts are actually related to some of the contracts that are done on this sheet. So I'll tell you how you can gather all of your contracts in one sheet. Later on, you can see how you can manage them. So you can see all these columns and under it, I have these content which are filled by contractors themselves. I'll show you how easily you can also do that. So first on the left side of the screen, we have this option which says forms. Once you click on this option forms, you can easily create forms that will be sent to the contractors. They will fill out the information into that forms and these information will be added here so that you can get to know about the detail of each contract. First, you have to click on create form and then you will get here. So this is the form you can customize or you can like add or remove things in here. So to do that, you have to simply look onto the left side of the screen. Here we have this option new field. Once you click onto it and after that, you have to name that field. It would be anything, whatever you think should be added into the contract form. You can just simply edit here. And after that, you have to choose the option or you could say the type below it. And after that, simply click on OK. And once you do that, you have to click onto this plus icon so that that field will get added here. Once you have done it and if you want to like change something else, you can do that. Otherwise, if you think this form is OK, you can just simply use it and send to your contractor. Later on, they will add information to it. So first, you have to simply save it. And after that, you just have to simply get back. So here I'll show you that I already created a form like this. I sent to the contractors. They filled out the forms and the results are here. So now we're going to do the same. Therefore, we have to go to the manage one and then we have to choose the contract that we just created. This is the one. And this time, if you want to share it to your contractor, you can do that by this option. And the link will be sent to your contractor and later on, he or she can answer it. So here you just have to add the details of your contractor like email address and stuff and the email will be sent to it. So here I have opened the form and I'll do it here so that you will get to know more about it. So here I have just done a little bit mistakes. I have added those options that are not considered to be added into the form. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to get back and do some of the changes into the form. Like you can see this status option. This should not be given to the contractor. This is for our team, but mistakenly it has added here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to get back to the form and then I will remove some of the options here like this status option and after that this signed option because this is not related to the contractor and again clicking on to save option and then open this one there you can see that this form will be sent to the contractor and the contractor will fill up this information here I'm just doing some random to show you how this works therefore I'm adding all these information randomly these are not create ones but you will get an idea about it so there we have four to five options likewise you can add a lot of options into your contract whatever option is useful for you you can just simply add it here and then your contractor will fill up so here i'm going to show you that this is how your contractor will fill up your form and the results will get to you once you get back you have to go to your sheets and then you have to do a refresh the reason for refreshing is that the form that we just filled, its answer should get onto the sheet and then we can use them. So here you can see that this is just added here. So now you can just customize it like this status option is for ourselves. You can add it and this assign option is also for ourselves. So we just have to add some of the information here according to our own choices. 
once you're done there you can see we have this contract management there you will get all the reports of your contracts like how many contracts are going and their details whatever has paid what is about left what is in going what is in progress what is done what is delayed and which contract is assigned to which team member so that's how you can manage all your contracts in one single sheet so this was all about contract management on smart sheet it is very easy and very simple first you have to go to the browser and get on through the website of smart sheet there you have to log in and after that you have to create a file and in the file you have to create a form send this form to your contractor once your contractors fill this information all the information will get into one sheet and then you can manage it i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates and thank you so much for watching the video